coach chilling, hang out with Todd, talk shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Coogee rap coming in, bring, uh, playing his new shit. Oh, that shit fire. God damn, I gotta go on the race. Too. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was Shannon there fucking beating up Lenny or some shit. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Baddick, they're drunk, just wild and like, this shit. It was just fun. It was just fun until shit was like, damn. 88, 89, we was at a friend of ours named Jamal, Lord Jamal, Barry Hughes. He was DJ, you know, local DJ. We was at his crib, you know, bugging out one day, DJing. And I used to grab the mic and started rocking. I was like, hold up, look like this nigga. He didn't take it serious until I made him take it serious. This had to be around 88, I'm going to say. Because uh, he was going to jail back and forth doing all kind of fuckery. So I'm like, yo, this dude got talent. He didn't want to get a job, so I, I had my little job. I'm saving my little money up to make a demo. Um, and after that, like maybe maybe a year or two after that, he started, he's like, yo, let's go to the studio. Go to the studio. And I started hearing what he was doing. You know, I, like, oh, you might be on to something here. It's crazy because, like, we didn't have a music relationship. We were just homies. Like, like that's my dog, you know what I'm saying? Like, before music and everything. So it's like, when I used to got into the music world, it's like, you know what I'm saying, he, the people that was close around him, you know what I'm saying, he wanted to draw them in, even though we didn't have no musical skills, it's, it was just there. Granddaddy IU's talent started with him writing poetry and winning poetry contests at the tender age of 10. His older brother, KC, saw the budding talent in his brother and told him he should start rapping. They decided to get together, and KC invested money in studio time for his brother to make a demo. Through a mutual friend at the studio, the demo found its way to an up-and-coming rap star named Biz Marquee. When Biz heard the demo, he immediately wanted to sign Granddaddy IU to his production deal. Right. So he asked me, shit, like, how many songs I got already? I don't got no songs. You know what I'm saying? Like, Just the demo that you made, that right. was it. You know what I'm saying? I got shit in my head. I think when Bill started coming to the crib, he wanted to hear what else he had besides the demo. So like, we ain't really had too much. We had a bunch of records. We playing records. Like, yo, we want to rock this. And Bill got that loud. <laughs> I mean, he liked it. So we took it to Jersey. Had a little studio in Jersey. We started going and hanging out with, uh, we met up with Vaughn, Cool V. He said they're playing playing records, trying to find which one we want to use. IU's debut album, Smooth Assassin, spawned two breakout singles, Sugar Free and Something New. Here it is, a world premiere. Crystal clear in your ear, so listen here. Yeah, it's something new, but I ain't no new kid, so don't fool yourself with garbage that you did. With the success of his songs, he was clearly on his way to the top. But his lack of being able to differentiate friendship and business was the cause of his career to take a back seat. You gotta figure a dude that's being in the street, hustling, fighting, and out of jail. So he has this, this wall. So that he gets around people that's come on, they gonna do this for me and do that for me. But then when it doesn't go the way he thinks it should go, like, yo, what's fucking going on, yo? What was messed up was biz when they took half of that publishing money. Right. That's messed up. Right. All right. And I'm like, are you why would you even tell him that? That wasn't none of his business. I just think is I now I didn't know. Because like I said, I didn't even know the, the right questions to ask. And you know, you young, so your, your your first reaction is just anger. None of them niggas, none of them niggas never schooled me about nothing. Right. Nothing, my nigga, nothing. This is the untold story of Granddaddy IU. Quite, 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 that's right. A parasite, white, I'll invite the fright night.